Hey everyone, so today it's December 18th, 2011. Rob C posted last week his version of his fan feeding video. Now it's time for my version. Tarantula feeding video 82. So I'm going to do them in no particular order. So the first one I'm going to feed is uh, Goma, my Lassidora Parahibana female. Salmon pink bird eater. Alright, this is such a beautiful specimen. That's Nadia Nandukramatis female, the white striped bird eater. Good job. Alright, here's Hans, mature male, Theraphosa sturmi, Goliath bird eater, the burgundy form. Good boy. Ooh, that's a nice crunch there. If anyone was wondering what this is, this is a piece of his old mold that got stuck in there. Yeah, he's pretty old. He's about a year and a half into his maturity. So he's infertile now since he's that old. So that's why whenever time I tried to mate with Gretel, it's not successful. I need to find a fresh male. All right, here's Genesis, a suspect male, Zenithus Imanus, the Colombian lesser black. Oh, there we go. You got that one. Man, he's such a pretty boy. Especially his carapace. Alright, it looks like she's not going to eat, but I'm going to give her an update anyway. Uh, this is my oldest tarantula in my collection, Curly Sue. She's a 23-year-old female Brachypalma of Opelosum, the Honduras curly hair. You can see how gentle she is. She's a cutie. Here is Daniela, my other LP female. This is the last one I'll feature since Daisy molted yesterday. Ooh, she was pretty hungry. Nice. Ah, this one's a lovely Avic. This one here is an Avicularia Huriana, the Ecuadorian bully pink toe, named Anna. I had to give her a little help, but man, she's all fluffy. And now for pokies, this is the favorite of mine. Pocotheria bara, the Arvry Lowland Ornamental Charmaine, who's a 6 inch female that I raised from a half an inch. Oh, nice. Definitely my, one of my pretty ones. Alright, so here is Roberta. She's a Cerico Palma Rebronitans, the Panama Red Rump. Yeah, she's a little bit of a hair flicker. Here's its red rump counterpart, the Brachypalma Vagans, the Mexican red rump. This is Morticia. Good girl. Alright, here's Jade, a Panthamedius Antinus, the Bolivian Steely Blue Leg. See if I can get her to eat. Holy crap. That's the fastest I've seen her. Yeah, 
looks like she can use a little molt there. Here's Scarlet, Brachypelma Smithy, Mexican Redney, 5 inch female. Oh, she's going to eat. There we go. Love it. Alright, so some more Mexican species. This is Leon, my Brachypelma erratum. The Mexican flame knee male. Oh, good job, Leon. Now it's Claire's turn. Ooh, good job, sweetie. That was awesome. Here's Morris Rose, my rose hair red form. Spiraling. Around two inches. Good job, Morris. Yeah, what a perfect name after my grandfather. Man, do I miss him. And we got some more brackies. This one here is my smaller Vagans, Annette. Gone. Asidora fracta, the Brazilian smoky gray bird eater. Here's Tara the Terrible, the black trapper spider, Idiop species. Love it. Alright, Brachypalma Bomi, the Mexican fireleg. This is the oldest one. Katana. Yep, she caught it. Especially at her age of 20. Alright, I got a P. Rufalata over here. That's Caitlin. Uh, she's a 7 half inch female. Snag that one. Good job. Here's Valencia, green bottle blue female. Chromatopelma cianipubescens. Wow. Yeah, that's a first. Never seen her move that fast. Very quick. Very hungry eaters. And they're awesome to take care of and so easy to raise. And profuse web builder. Acanthoscuria brocklehursti, the giant white banded Sasha. She's a five and a half inch female and my god is she ever fat. Watch us, she's gonna take it. No surprise, that's your typical Acanthoscuria <laughs> appetites. They just love eating. After Christmas, this one's getting a rehouse. That's uh, one of my T. Gigaslings. Well, now Droopies now. Uh, that was the one that was supposed to reserve for Jesse. As you can see, he's eating like a horse. I think it's a male. He's awesome, though. Well, that's a cool attack. Alright, here's another T. Gigas. This one here is a suspect female. No problem for these tappies. Alright, just found out another Gigas molted. This one here is another female. I had that suspect male. Oh yeah, that's one that I found out and molted some time ago, so he's ready to eat. Whoa. Tappies are such great hunters, aren't they? Alright, moving back to the big girls now. 
This one here is a Bracky Palma Opposeps, the Mexican Gold Red Rum. Stacy, 5.5 inch female. Here is Chloe, Euathus Tricolentis, the Chilean Beautiful. Yeah, pretty quick. Ooh, Marsha does not seem too happy. That's the Saratodaris Marshali, the Straight Horn Baboon. Last year, Dora Difficilis, the Brazilian Fire Red Bird Eater, Dora. Not a problem for her. Nandu Colorado Velosis, the Brazilian Black and White, Mina, 4.5 inch female. And there we go. Alright, Pocotheria Miranda, the Bengal Spotted Ornamental. Slam dunk. Yeah, it's kind of hard to see what she looks like. Yeah, she's starting to get fat. Alright, here's Petunia, Bracky Palma Classy, the Mexican Pink. No problems for her. Pilcletheria Tigrino Aceli, the Wessel Tiger Ornamental. Wow. Just love the way she just got her supper. I think her lunch now is 2.45. Love this pokey. Alright, here's Wendy, Choco Gold, the Gramasola Poker Peas. Alright, so all the three tappies now. So we'll start off with the left one. Uh, that's my Gigas female, Barb, the largest one. Great, we got 5 for 5 for T Gigas. That's a score. Here is Armando's um, mature male Tapnikini Sancti Vincenti, the St. Vincent's Tree Spider. Guess not interested. And there is my female over there, Lisa. Yep, she grabbed it. Okay, so we have two pokies here. A Rufalata male and the newly molted P. fasciata. Just checked uh, the fangs on this one. It's black, so it's ready to eat. So we'll uh, start off with the Rufalata, Sephora. Yep, he's eating fine. This one is actually a male. That's awesome because I have that female that you saw earlier. And now uh, for that fasciata. Let's see if this one will lead. I have no idea if it's a female or not. I'm hoping it is. Because I need a break from getting a female for the species. And I can't. Ah, oh, yeah. He got it, or she. Alright, give an update of Midna, as well as attempt to feed her. Haplopama Lubum, Cobalt Blue. You tricked me. You're such an unpredictable lady. Well done. Alright, here's Trina, 7-inch mature female. 
Tour at Chevron, Samopolis, Cambridge Eye. Alright, Samopolis, Armenia, the Venezuelan Sun Tiger. I wanted to go for the worm, but she got the needle. <laughs> oh, Josie, Josie, Josie. So incredibly funny. But yeah, one of my most lovable members. Here's Athena, my other Brachypalma Smithy, the Mexican Red Knee. Good job. Here's a look at Daisy, the LP that just molted the last night. Incredibly beautiful. This one never ceases to amaze me. This is my Kilobrachis guanasiensis, the Chinese fawn. Female named Ju Lin. She's just crazy. Yeah, definitely five to six inches. Alright, we'll try to attempt to feed Floyd, the mature male, Eupalistus Tramperstratus, the pink zebra beauty. Here, gone. Good job, my man. You'll be breeding with Yasmin very soon. can guarantee you that. Alright, here's my Salem ornamental, Pocletheria formosa. Name Salem, our original. Nab that one. Alright, this is Joelle. My lovely Piornata, the fringed ornamental. This might go well. Yeah, and it did. Alright, I'm going to close the cover because she likes to escape on me. Yeah, she's huge. She's around seven and a half inches. Definitely one of the largest pokies that I have. Here's an Ephelopus rufescens, the burgundy skeleton. This is exactly how I house spiderlings, half an inch to about an inch, in ordinary pill vials with eco earth substrate. And to water them, I just keep the substrate moist. I do never offer any water dish because they can drown so I'll make a future video on that so uh, you'll easily know how to take care of spiralings they're just as easy as your adults except just do them in a lot smaller scale. Syrgopacus shoidi, the Malaysian earth tiger yep I think that was an attack Lamper Palma Valisiopes, the Singapore Blue. That I got from Mademoiselle One. Oh, look at that. Love it. Here's Marin, Thrixel Palma Sangulum, the Cobalt Red Rum. <laughs> it's kind of what uh, Rob's uh, T. Apophis did with the Rochi turned upside down. <laughs> well, there's my version of it with my little baby Cobalt Red Rum. Named Marin. Alright, I had to free up some memory. Uh, but this one here is a Critopholus Ramsey, the Cuban Pygmy. And this cricket is fresh, not raw. And he or she liked it. Alright, here's Oriel. Fonopama Moderatum, the Rio Grande Gold.
Not bad. One of the latest additions to my collection. And a favorite. Got ourselves another molt from my Stramatic Palmha Calcetum, the Featherleg Baboon. And I just checked the fangs, it's all black, so ready to feed. There we go. Awesome. Oh, that is a nice S calcium, that's for sure. Yeah, and she grew, grew back all her legs. She's fully healthy. Man, she looks so much like Xena. Everyone's favorite, Rosea. There's Talia. Vicularia Leda, the Puerto Rican Pinto, Mona. Yep, grabbed it. Here's a Nandu Tripepi, the giant starving blonde bird eater. Let's go for three for three. And of all the Nandus that ate. Yay! He made me happy. Here's my Grandma Sola Pulcra male, Brazilian black, Roy. Here we go, good boy. Look at that, already pissed off. This one here is for Mictopus Concerides, Haitian Brown Bird Eater. <laughs> it is lover. Pretty unique, one of my most aggressive species that I have. There's Peach, Grandma Sola Pulker Peas, the Choco Goldeny. No problem for her. Poclothera Hanuma Vila Simica, the Remish Worm Ornamental, Zafina. Raki Palma Abapulosum, the curly hair, it's my smaller one, a lot younger. There we are. Alright, here's Age in Aquilata, the Brazilian giant white knee. He's exactly like his bigger cousin, Sasha. Alright, Poclotheria striata now, the Mysore ornamental. This one is the suspect female. Yep. Lassidura Klugi, the Bahia Scarlet Bird Eater. Hmm. Not bad. Let's try to feed Allison for the first time since her molt. Poclotheria Smithy, the yellow backed ornamental. Let's see if I can try to do it this way. She got it. Very first feeding as a confirmed female. I bet she's the happiest pokey. I know I am. Here's a Brachypalma verdesi, the Mexican rose gray.
nailed that one. Ephobus Udeman, the Emerald Skeleton, Esmeralda. Guess no go. And last but certainly not least, Nia, my gorgeous female Pocotheria Metallica, the Goody Sapphire Ornamental. Perfect. Hey, Maggie! <laughs> That's what I have, a treat for her. She loves those treats. Okay, so sit. Sit. Paw. Other paw. Roll over. Roll over. Roll over. Come on, there we go. Shh. Relax, relax. High five. <laughs> well, anyways, I hope you enjoyed this fantastic action-packed feeding video. Hope you enjoy it, and thanks for watching.